Channel 4. Here are our champions. They're three of a kind. Hi, I'm Chris Lundquist. Hi, I'm Kathy Ellenberger. I'm Judy Kovac, and we're 411 Operators. And here are our challengers. They're also three of a kind. Hi, I'm Jim Markson. I'm Tony Saavedra. I'm Katie Keeble, and we're Reporters. Reporters. And they are here to play Hot Potato. And here to toss the hot potato, our host, Bill Cullen. What a tumultuous and pleasant ovation. Thank you very much. I'll try to live up to it. Ha, <laughs> fat chance. Anyway, we're happy to have all of you here at Hot Potato. We have a fine group. Our, our 411 operators, it might interest you, you to know if you haven't been with us the past few days, they had been on some time ago and won $1,000, then lost a game. It was decided that they lost it unfairly. It was our fault. We brought them back. And they've done nothing but sensational since they've been back. So far, adding to that $1,000, 20,500 for a total of 21,500 in all. Boy. I bet, I bet it's safe to say you're glad to be back. Oh, yeah. Boy, are we glad to have you, Chris uh, uh, and Judy and uh, Kathy. Well done, all of you. You've done a marvelous job. Now, you've got 21,500 among you. Going to split it up. What are you going to do with yours, may I ask, please, Judy? Well, first I'm going to pay some bills. That's good. <laughs> then That's I'm going to take a vacation. Good for you. How about you, Kathy? What plans do you have? Well, this is a lot of extra money that I don't have to put toward anything. And mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm going to take my husband on a second honeymoon. Oh. Isn't that nice? Isn't it? Where did you go the first time? We didn't. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> no, but, well, I mean, we didn't do anything really extra special. Oh, you don't have to tell me what you did on your honeymoon. <laughs> Far, far be it for me to inquire so deeply. But, I mean, you didn't make a romantic trip or anything. No, I didn't go out of Listen, the Where are you going to take him? Probably Hawaii. Oh, that sounds like fun. Chris, what are you going to do with yours? Well, I'll tell you, my priorities are a little different from Judy. I'm going to take my boyfriend to Greece, probably, and then I'm going to pay the bills. <laughs> You're taking your boyfriend to Greece? Yeah, I, Boy, I how, think so. How times have changed since I was... <laughs> wow. No one ever took me anywhere. And I don't blame them. <laughs> our, our three reporters over here. Hi, Jim. How you doing? How are things with you guys? Oh, pretty good, I where, think. Where do you for what pay? Where are you, a reporter, Jim? Put it that way. Uh, we work outside of San Bernardino, All in three San Bernardino of you. County. All yeah. three. Well, what did you do before you became a reporter? I was just a college student, four years of college. Journalism. Uh, no, I was a business major, believe it or not. And that qualified you? Well, you're probably a good reporter. Well, thank you. I hope you are. I'll read, I, I'll read I, your hope stuff. I, I hope you are. Uh, Tony, how about you? What what qualified you? What did you do before you was a reporter? Well, Where I went to, a reporter. I went to college, and before that, I was a short order cook. Oh, that qualifies you to be a reporter. <laughs> short order cook has won, have won a lot of Pulitzer Prize, or have they baked them? Whatever. <laughs> Katie, what did you do before you became a reporter? Well, I went to college also, but I was a bar major at English pub. Uh huh. Did you, were you a journalism student? Uh huh. It paid off. Yeah. I was a reporter briefly, for about six months. Where? Uh huh. For the paper, Benjamin Franklin uh, actually found. He was still there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's called the Hot Stove Gazette, but that's neither here nor there. We're going to begin a game now, you know, two, two rounds, win a game, two ways you can win, come up with a seventh answer, or knock out all your opponents, uh, operators begin. But first, for everybody, here's the question. We have a list from the U.S. Department of Agriculture of the seven animals which are most commonly raised on farms. Can you name those seven farm animals. Okay, beginning with you, Chris, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna answer with cow. Cow is, sounds good, is good. Got a bright answer up there. What do you say, Kathy? I'm gonna say chickens. Chickens, chicken is a good answer. That's, that's the number one answer of all, over a billion chickens and still counting. Judy. I'm gonna say um, goats. Goats? Is right. We have three right answers. All right. I don't know, right, aren't they? Back to you, Chris, dear. Okay, I'm going to answer and I'm going to say. Oh. Something. Quickly. Oh, um. Something. T oh, time. That is considered <laughs> wrong. If you go back okay. there, that eliminates Chris from the game. And uh, the question again, the seven animals most commonly raised on farms. We begin with you, Jim. You can answer a challenge. 
I'm going to answer this one, and I'm going to say sheep. Sheep is another right answer. Four right answers up there. As long as you can answer, you keep control. OK, uh, what do you say there, Tony? Oh, sheep, by the way, that includes lambs and stuff like that, whatever stuff like that. Are. OK, I'm going to answer, and I'll say pigs. Pigs, good answer. We have five right now. Now then, after we get five answers, I recap. So before you answer, Katie, we have cows, chickens, goats, sheep, and pigs. Katie, what are you going to do? Ducks. Ducks. Ducks is wrong. Sorry to say if you go over there and take your little seat. Well, two on a team now. We need two more right answers. You have two opponents. You're up, Kathy. I'm going to say horses. Horses is a right answer. We have another one. For the record, pigs includes hogs. We now need one more right answer. Judy, you're up. You have two opponents. One answer will win you the round. Well, I'm kind of stuck here now, All right. so I'm going to have to challenge Jim. Jim, you got the hot potato. You have to answer to stay in the game. Uh -huh. Well, OK, Just I'm going to answer it, and I'm going to say turkeys. Turkeys is right, and you've won the round. Jim did a story on a turkey farm once. Pretty good. Your, your profession is paying off. The reporters have a round. The phone operator's nothing, and we'll be back in a moment. But right now, here's what we have. How fast does Ambisol relieve toothache pain? Before you can say. Ambisol. How fast does Ambisol relieve painful gum irritation? Before you can say. Ambisol. When your mouth hurts, Ambisol's pain-killing ingredients relieve minor mouth pain on contact and Ambisol keeps on relieving for hours. How fast does Ambisol stop teething pain? Before he can say. Ambisol. Ambisol in gel or liquid stops minor mouth pain before you can say Ambisol. It's so easy, it's so easy. Yay. Hold it. New faster acting Fantastic works even easier. You mean it's even easier to clean greasy dirt? Watch. Spray your Fantastic on the right and new Fantastic on the left. See? New Fantastic breaks up this greasy dirt even faster. So it cleans even easier. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's so yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. New Faster Acting Fantastic cleans even easier. It's so easy. OK, we're back for round two. May I remind you, and I hope you will be with us beginning this next Monday, we're going to have an exciting change here on Hot Potato. Each team will, from that time on, consist of two of your favorite celebrities trying to win money for their contestant team captain. It all begins this coming Monday right here on Hot Potato, so please be with us. OK, we have one round for our uh, uh, reporters. Our 411 operators have not won around. They're going to try to tie it up. Everybody listen to the question. You, you guys are in control over here. You get first shot. Okay. American. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> At least to me. American men were asked this question. If you could be married to any famous woman other than your wife, you know, we threw that in to be safe, whom would you choose? We have the 10 famous women who were most often mentioned. Can you name seven of them? What famous woman would you choose to marry other than your wife, assuming you have a wife? Jim, we begin with you. Hmm. What do you want to do? I'm going to play, and I guess I'm going on a limb here, but I'm going to say Lonnie Anderson. What a nice limb. You're right. <laughs> Boy. You know, you, you, uh, you go along with the people poll because Lonnie was the number one answer. <laughs> All right, Jim. Okay. Well, good for you. How about you, Tony? I will say uh, Bo Derek. Bo Derek, yeah, right answer. <laughs> They've gone out on some beautiful limbs, haven't they? <laughs> well, now, Katie, you had to put yourself in the other sexes <laughs> under his cap or something. What, what do you think those men answered? Well, I, she's a sex symbol, Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch, wrong, Katie. Oh, she is to me, but obviously not to these people back there, if you Why? would please. Control passes to our 411 operators. Chris, you're up. We have two right answers. Okay, well, I know my boyfriend would love this one. I'm going to have to say Linda Evans. Linda Evans, right again. <laughs> I know Linda. I admit it. Kathy, how about you? Three right answers. I'm going to pass the potato, and okay. I'm going to pass it to Tony. Tony, uh, you got the hot potato. You have to answer. Being a red blooded American boy, I think you can answer this, Tony. I'll say Natasha Kinski. Okay, being a red-blooded Polish boy. 
wrong. I'm sorry, Tony. Natasha Kinski, a very fine actress and a very attractive woman, Tony. I don't disagree with you. Look where we are. Controls passed back. Here's one player left on the reporters. Judy, you're up. You need this round, of course, to tie the game. What do you want to do? Well, I think I'm going to challenge Jim. Well, now, okay. th there you are, Jim. You did so well. well. Jim, you come up with this one, and you take control. Miss it, and they tie it all up. I'm going to say Diana Ross. Diana Ross is right. You take control, and Judy, you're up. Okay. Okay. You keep control now, Jim. Control stays with you. We need three more right answers. You have two opponents. What do you want to do? Well, since they're both female, I'm going to pass it to Chris. It's up to you, Chris. If you, if you get this one, you take control and win the round and tie the game. Okay, I'm Joan Collins. Joan Collins. Wrong. Oh. And that puts you out of the game. Okay, control, but you're doing well, Jim. Well, one opponent. You're gonna, what are you going to well, do? I uh, go away from a wrong, uh, a good thing here. I'm going to pass it. Okay, Kathy. Kathy, it's up to you who's passed. This is for the round, oh, I Kathy. I don't even watch TV or go to movies. If, um, <laughs> for the round, if you miss it, they win. Margot Hemingway. Margot Hemingway is wrong, and the reporters have won the round and the game. Come on down. Congratulations. <laughs> you won the game. Well done. Boy. I guess that was tough to ask you ladies to answer that one, but they come up in that sort of order, and that's the way they're... Congratulations, reporters. Would you like to hear who the other ones were? Yeah. All right, come up on my magic little screen. Linda Carter, Jane Fonda, Olivia Newton-John, num number two, Dolly Parton, Jacqueline Smith, Cheryl Tiggs, and Susan Darachek. Susan Darachek. <laughs> the name of my own device. <laughs> Lovely girl. Anyway, we congratulate you. Now, i got to talk to our, our 411 operators. Thanks for coming back. Thank you. And what a nice trip back it was, huh? Yeah. Oh, yes. You came back here with $1,000 winnings. You're leaving us with $21,500. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Right. Okay, we'll be back right now. You have nothing to do. This. When I've got a splitting headache, I want what works. And Extra Strength Daytrol has been working for me. Every bit as well as Extra Strength Tylenol since I switched. And now I know why. Daytrol is the exact same aspirin-free pain reliever and strength as Extra Strength Tylenol. Exactly the same. I know because I asked my doctor. Yet Extra Strength Tylenol can cost so much more. So I'm staying with Daytrol. Why would anyone pay that much more for the same relief? Daytrol from Bristol-Myers. My hot dog has a first name, it's O-S-C-A-R. My hot dog has a second name, it's M-A-Y-E-R. That ostrich on fire and you say it's the only one for me. Before they... Before... Uh... Oscar Mayer Roasted Hot Dogs, made with only select cuts of beef and pork and no fillers for a hot dog as honest and wholesome as kids themselves. <laughs> If the skin under your arms is as sensitive as mine, I've got terrific news for you. Almay's just come out with the hypoallergenic antiperspirant. Like everything Almay makes, it's designed to help avoid itching, burning, and irritation. Does it help keep you dry? Of course. New Almay antiperspirant. It's hypoallergenic, 100% fragrance-free. If you've got sensitive skin, you know what that means. Almay antiperspirant, because everyone can have sensitive skin. There's big news in the big city, right, Jay? It's sweeping the country, too. Newsflash. Huggies diapers now have refastenable tapes. That's right, Judy. Now Kleenex Huggies are better than ever because they have brand new tapes that can be fastened and refastened to check for wetness and to get a perfect fit. Now form-fitting Huggies have refastenable tapes, so they're even better than ever. And that's got the whole town talking. Right, folks? Well, here you are at that $5,000 spot, your chance for the 5,000 bucks. Jim, your captain. The subject of today's bonus is famous musicians. I'm gonna name a musician, then I'll show you a pair of instruments. Each time you'll have to match the musician to the proper instrument. The jackpot is now at $5,000. Good luck to you, I hope you do it. Okay. Uh, you have one pass, which you may use during the game. You have one and one only. Okay. Confer before you answer, tell me whether you wanna play or pass. 
Good luck on the first one. Match the musician to the proper instrument. The musician is Van Clyburn, and the instrument is the French horn and the piano. It's a piano. Yeah, it's a piano. piano. Oh, there's yeah. confidence over there. They're all well, you're going on, I gather. You're going to play. We're going to play. And Confidentially, gonna... it's piano. It is piano, and you have 500 bucks. Okay, going on? Yeah, we're going to go. Okay, they're going on. They took your advice. They're going on knowing that they can at any time take the money and quit there. Okay, now it's $1,000 or nothing. You have a pass. The musician is Gene Krupa. The instrument is, or are, the drums or the bass. Talk it Gene over. Krupa. Tell me. I had a friend who so loved Gene drums. Krupa drums. Boy, they, they, so far, I think this is your subject, because I've never seen such confidence. Going to play? Yeah, we're going to play, and we're going to say drums. You're right again. You have a $1,000. Going on. Yeah. Every once in a while, I begin to get an idea that somebody's going to run it and do the jackpot. The way you have been working so far, I think you're going to do it. The instrument is, no, the musician is, the musician is Lawrence Welk. The musician is, I mean, the instrument is, let me get that right, the accordion or the violin. Now, you have a pass. If you Myron Fleming. Lawrence Welk is the person. You always give up, didn't you, for your accordion? No, that was Myron Fleming. Well, Myron was... Fleming, he said, I love it. Okay, yes. give me an answer. We'll, you're gonna play we're going to pass. You're going to pass. What would you have said? I would have said violin. Oh, boy, would you have been wrong. Well, it was the accordion. It was the accordion. Why were you doing that? You've used your pass. Well, you I have to go wisely. on okay. at this point. Match the musician to the proper instrument. The musician is Artie Shaw. Artie Shaw was the instrument piano or clarinet? Clarinet. Clarinet. Yeah. What do you say? We're going to say clarinet. clarinet. That's right. You have $1,500. How are you doing? Well, we can keep going you if can, you want You can keep going or you can take the $1,500 and quit. What do you got? You guys want to do this? We came with nothing. We're leaving. Okay. Two to one. We're going to play on. The reporters are going ahead. The musician is Herbie Mann. The instrument is the flute or the drums. Herbie Mann. I think it's a, the flute. And they've used their pass, so they have to come up with an answer. What do you say, Jim? We're going to say the flute. Good. That's $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You just have to answer five. Yes. You may take this $2,000 and quit. Or you can, if you answer the next question, you risk everything. It's for $5,000 okay. this next year. Going on? Okay, we're going to go on. All right. $5,000 or nothing. Okay. 5000 or nothing. Good luck. The musician is Chuck Manjone or Manjoni, and the instrument is, and they're smiling already, flute or flugelhorn. Chuck plays over because this we're gonna is a, We're huh? going to play. $5,000 And answer. we're going to say flugelhorn. You didn't say it well, but it was right. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. I was afraid I jinxed you there. Congratulations, what a job you did. Right now, let's meet your new opponents. Hi, I'm Neil McCrabb. I'm John Crump. And I'm John Kunkel. And we're auctioneers. How many dollars did we get? Hey! Hey! Hold on, man. Hey! 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 Hold on, man. Hey! 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 We'll be, we'll be back here to knock down that item with the auctioneers in just a moment. Right now, we've got a word for you. Forget about Ashley. It's me you love. Stephanie, you look worn out. They've got Sebastian. Ooh, Sebastian. And now they want me. I've got to keep running. Keep running? If you're on the run, make sure you wear leg sheer energy pantyhose. It's springy yarn massages your legs, keeps them feeling great all day. Will Stephanie get tired of running? Will Stephanie get tired of acting? <laughs> Some days it takes sheer energy. Are Bert and Lonnie reheating their romance and playing house again? Inquiring minds want to know. I want to know. How can you keep other people from wrecking your diet? This week's National Enquirer tells you. What are some easy ways to make a small fortune? How can you learn to track down a cheating husband? It's in the Enquirer. How has Princess Di changed Charles from a man to a mouse? Find out in the Enquirer. Over 100 features for people with inquiring minds. Like me. 
How do you get shirts so clean, Mr. Lee? Ancient Chinese secret. My husband, some hot shot. Here's his ancient Chinese secret, Calgon. Calgon's two water softeners soften wash water so detergents clean better. In hardest water, Calgon helps detergents get laundry up to 30% cleaner. We need more Calgon. Ancient Chinese secret, huh? Calgon helps detergents get laundry up to 30% cleaner. Fresh potatoes. But they're not potato chips until you slice them. You can slice them thin, or you can slice them thick. New O'Grady's potato chips are sliced thick, because thicker means more real potato taste in each chip, with a deeper cut or a serious crunch. Look, if you want the taste of more real potato, you want a thicker potato chip. O'Grady's brand, the more potato potato chip. We welcome our auctioneers and we congratulate our reporters who have won $6,000. We'll talk to you gentlemen later on, but right now in the interest of time, let's start a game, okay? Okay, don't okay everybody listen. Dried fruits are a popular snack and we're about to see how popular they are with you. We have the list of the seven dried fruits which people like the most. A list of the seven dried fruits preferred by more people. Okay, we begin with our champions as usual. Katie, what do you want to do? I'll play. All right. Apricots. Apricots, right answer, one right one on the board. <laughs> Tony. I'll say uh, prunes. Prunes, another right one on the board. <laughs> Two up. Jim? Well, I'm going to play, and I'm going to say raisins. Raisins is right, number one. Raisins are right. <laughs> the answer, raisins, is right. Uh, that's number one. Back to you, Katie, three right answers. I think I better pass. I haven't had too good of luck so Throw far. Throw the hot potato answer. to one of these auctioneers. How about to John One? John One, it's okay. up to you to stay in the game to come up with a dried fruit. Let's try bananas. Bananas. Right answer again, John One. Katie. Congratulations, fellas. You. You're in control. John Two, it's your turn. Well, Bill, I'll answer with um, dates. Dates is a right answer right. again. Five right answers. <laughs> Now, let me tell you, let me tell you, Neil, uh, here's the answers which have been given. Apricots, prunes, raisins, bananas, and dates. It's up to you to answer. You have, we need two more right answers. You have two opponents. Bill, I'm going to play, I'll say apples. Apples is correct. Yeah. And yeah. 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 We need one more right answer, John One. Or you can, if you don't know, you can challenge someone. Uh, I had one on the tip it's, of my It's John, John One. One. John, John Two. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Bill, I think I'll pass the hot potato over to Tony. He looks kind of confused. You got it, Tony. To to try. Tony, if you come up with this, you're going to win the round. If you miss it, they win the round. I'll play. No, I'll if, if you miss it, they don't win the round. No, but you, you can win the round. Sure. Okay. Sorry. I'll say pineapple. Wrong answer, and that knocks you out of the game, Tony. Okay, now, men, we need one more right answer. You have one opponent left. John, two. You were anxious last time. You can no. win it with the right answer. You can win it with a right, good challenge, too. Um, boy, I was drawing a blank. I was getting ready to pass. I think I'm going to pass a hot potato over to Jim this time. It's up to you, Jim. This is for the round. Answer it, and your well, team wins the round. Miss it, and their team wins the round. One of my favorites is pears. Pears is wrong, and the auctioneers win the round. <laughs> The only one you didn't answer, figs. Oh, oh figs. Them. Very, yeah, I that's what I was thinking like that is that. dried. Yeah. Well, so it's uh, one round over here in this game for our uh, reporters and our auctioneers. Uh, none yet, but you're, now I can talk to you a little bit. What one thing does it take to make a good auctioneer, Neil? Uh, Bill, the main thing is uh, you've got to be able to control the crowd and keep the the yeah. bids flowing and keep going. Keep the and bids coming and, and get, coming keep, in and, and keep, growing. Keep there. You go along with that, John? Well, I think you also need fast lips. Oh, yeah, you sure you do. Get it going. Those tobacco auctioneers in the old days, Boy, man, they yes. could roll. How about you? What well, you the whole idea, Bill, is to get them going real fast, get them all mixed up so there's all kinds of hands coming up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, someone raises their hand to scratch, and you say, $4,000, <laughs> I'll take that. I've done it. We'll be back here in just a moment, but right now, we'd like to sell you something. <laughs> I've tried fad diets, powders, pills. Still, my weight's been up and down like a yo-yo until the AIDS plan taught me how to take off weight and help keep it off. 
AIDS may taste like a candy, but AIDS contains one of the most effective appetite suppressants you can buy, and there's no stimulant in AIDS that could make you nervous. With AIDS, I ate less, so the weight came off. To help keep it off when I sometimes want things loaded with calories, AIDS helps put me in control. The AIDS plan can teach you how to take off weight and help keep it off. Try new peanut butter AIDS. Ready for shock? I found out all fabric bleach works best in hot water. I also found Boratim, the Borax Bleacher. It's specially formulated for warm water washing. So when I switch to warm for brightening colors, I switch to Boratim, the Borax Bleacher. When I switch to warm to remove stains from synthetics, I switch to Boratim, the Borax Bleacher. Boratim, it's made to whiten, brighten, and remove stains in warm water. So when you switch to warm, switch to Boratim, the Borax Bleacher. Interestingly enough, I found out what it takes to be a good auctioneer. To be a good reporter, what would, uh, what would you say it takes, Jim? Well, I think you have to understand people and human nature. Mm, that helps a lot. How about you, Tony? I think you have to be critical to a certain degree, a little curious. In other words, don't take everything <laughs> on the surface or for surface value. That's right. Dig That's a little. Right. Are you a dig? You want to be an investigative reporter? Would you like that? Oh, uh, certainly. How, certainly. About, how about you, Kate? <laughs> Well, I think, what's, what, what's a good quality? Mm -hmm. I think to be able to write concisely and clearly mm -hmm. so the reader can understand. You know what it takes to be a good MC? No. The ability to do this. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> a member of our studio audience will receive West Bend's Total Gym Exercise System. More than 70 exercises can be performed at your own level on the Total Gym, furnished by West Bend. Olympia's electronic typewriter combines the versatility of a portable typewriter with the speed and comfort of an office model, furnished by Olympia USA. Some of our party contestants will receive from Hickory Farms, where there's always something new. Enjoy award-winning quality foods and gifts at over 500 Hickory Farm stores coast to coast. Soft Soap brand liquid soap conditions and moisturizes as it gently cleans. Outlast and outdates bar soaps. Soft Soap, soap without the soapy mess. From St. Ives, you'll experience the luxurious sensation of St. Ives Skin Care Collection. Available at food and drug stores, St. Ives Swiss Formula. Buy Brim Decaffeinated Coffee for rich roasted taste. Fill your cup to the rim with Brim. Only Q-Tex Remover has Moisture Guard. Protect nails against drying and breaking. No wonder it's America's number one remover. Be choosy with Van Melamento's, America's great chewy candy in a variety of long-lasting flavors. Van Melamento. Tonight on Gimme a Break, Samantha thinks the world is about to end. Can a fast-talking boyfriend persuade her to live it up while there's time? Then Jennifer's little friend turns out to be a giant jinx on Family Ties. After that, Carla's swinging sister takes over at Cheers. Then the critics and the fans agree the Duck Factory is a hit, a comic gem, and just what the doctor ordered. Later, a drug addict escapes with a woman hostage on Hill Street Blues. Be there. Potato is a barrier midnight production. On Search for Tomorrow. Jack Benton gave this to you, didn't he? As Sonny's rapist set his sights on a new victim. Don't hurt her, too. Don't you ever give up. Then on Days of Our Lives. I, Liz, take thee kneel to be my lawfully wedded husband. The moment you've been waiting for this week. Be there. We got one great entertainment value with On TV. And paid only $9.95 for installation. That's right. Month after month, On comes through at primetime with major motion pictures. Uncut, uninterrupted, like Tootsie with Dustin Hoffman, Twilight Zone, the movie, the latest and greatest feature films, plus optional late-night adult programming. Only $9.95 for installation. And we saved even more with On special discounts. This is a limited offer, so call On TV now. Lawn weeds seem to spring up overnight. Dandelion and other broadleaf weeds. The answer is Ortho Weed Be Gone Weed Killer. Now in this ready to use applicator. There's no mixing and you can spot kill broadleaf lawn weeds, roots and all. No more digging. Just a beautiful lawn with less work. Get Weed Be Gone. Ready to use. It's easy with Ortho. The Las Vegas Hilton's vacation sensation of the year is back. Las Vegas Hilton. It's a winner's holiday. Las Vegas Hilton. Yours for only $39 per person, double occupancy. The package includes a beautiful room for three days and two nights. Las Vegas Hilton. 
see the midnight cocktail show of Moulin Rouge or enjoy dinner buffet if show unavailable. Dancing and cocktails in the casino lounge. Call toll free 1-800-732-7117 or your travel agent. Donahue on Healthcare in America today at 3. Hey, all lunch will be ready in about half an hour, sweetheart. Okay. Rusty, would you like to be served in here? No, I'll take it in the dining room. Aren't you going to join us? No, I want to get these invitations to the post office. You mailing the one? Quite the old-fashioned way. Freshly baked without any artificial preservatives. Just like our new soft light rye. Oh, so light and full of whole grain good taste. Along with new wholesome cracked wheat. So if you love bread, now you can indulge in Weight Watchers. It makes a great beginning to a very tasteful sandwich. Sports Scope. Saturday at 3 on Channel 4. Here are our champions. They're three of a kind. Hello, I'm Katie Keevil. I'm Tony Saavedra. And I'm Jim Marson. And we're... Reporters. And here are our challengers. They're also three of a kind. Hi, I'm Neil McCrabb. Hi, I'm John Cook. And I'm John Kunkel. And we're... Auctioneers! Hello. And they're here to play... Potato! And here to toss the hot potato, our host, Bill Cullen! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome to Hot Potato. You guys are pretty good. I mean, you actually have that rhythm. You got me excited. I bid $4. I don't know what on. <laughs> but I'll take whatever it is. You told me once you, you get sometimes at these police auctions, stolen property auctions, you can pick up a bag of watches for 10 bucks. That's right. I'm going to be right. there. I'll tell you. <laughs> I could use a bag of watches. We're going to get right on with our game now without too much talk. I'll tell you why. Uh, this is our final show under the present format. When we come back here next week, we're going to have... Two celebrities, which whom will interest you, I'm quite sure, playing on each team for one contested. And it'll be that way, so a brand new format. So this is our last one under this old one. All Lang Syne, and I wish you all luck. The auctioneers uh, at this moment have won one round. And our reporters have won no rounds, but they have 6,000 bucks going for them. Auctioneers will be in control when we start this game. It's your turn, men. Wish you well. Here's the question first off. If you're a loner, you might appreciate this list. It is a list of the states where the fewest people live. Can you name those seven least populous states? States of the United States, of course. And Neil, we begin with you. Good luck. Hey, Bill, I'm gonna play and say Rhode Island. Rhode Island is wrong, believe it or not. John, a good, a good guess, but even though it's the smallest state, not a, by one of the least populous. Katie, passes to you. What do you wanna do? I'll play. All right, name me a state. Montana. Montana is a right answer. One right one on the board. Looking for the seven least populous states. Tony. I'll play. All right. I'll say Idaho. Idaho. Wrong, Tony. OK, one off each team. Control passes back to the auctioneers. John won. You're up. This is I'll, proving. I'll play, Bill. Uh, how about Wyoming? Wyoming? Right. And we have another right one up there. That's right. And Wyoming is. Wyoming is the second least populous state. John, two, your choice. Well, Bill, I believe I have the number one. I think it's Nevada. Nevada. Oh, you don't even have one on the <laughs> list, John. That's a wrongie. Go over there. Hey, look where you are now. Jim, you're up. You got one opponent over there. Need five right answers. What do you want to do? Well, I'm going to uh, pass this one off to John one. Well, John, it's up to you. If you, if you miss this answer, they win the round. Let's try... Utah. Utah is wrong, and the reporters have won the round. Come on back. <laughs> well, that one didn't. That one, you both had trouble, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to read the list now that flashes up on my magic little score teller here. One we all, you all should have made. I, th I think I would have guessed Alaska. Number one only has 401,000. 851, just changed, 849 people. <laughs> Two left. Delaware, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Vermont. That completes our list of the least populous states. We'll be back here in a minute. Right now, don't you unpopulate your living room. We got this.
To lose weight, these dieters chose Slim Fast over Cambridge. I lost weight with Slim Fast. It tastes better than Cambridge. It's more like a delicious chocolate shake. I picked the Slim Fast diet plan, and I lost weight. It has more protein than Cambridge, plus fiber and bran. I chose Slim Fast, and I lost weight. It costs less than Cambridge, and the taste, terrific. Get Slim Fast, the delicious way to lose. There's a new There's a new panty liner out now that I really like. I feel like they actually respect my body. They're called Assure Breathable Panty Liners, and that's just what they do. They breathe. They protect without a plastic backing, so they breathe like cotton. Air circulates constantly, so you really do stay drier. And gynecologists say that's healthier. I respect that. New Assure Breathable Panty Liners. Air flows through for a drier you. Well, we're all tied up here. The reporters have won a game, a uh, uh, round rather, and the auctioneers have won a round. So this is for the game. Uh, meantime, auctioneers are our challengers. Reporters are sitting on $6,000. Katie, we'll begin with you in a moment. Let me read the question for everybody. Have a list here of the 12 buttons or controls you are most likely to find on a music cassette recorder. A cassette recorder. We need you to name seven. The 12 controls or buttons you're most aptly to find, uh, apt to find. We only need seven. Katie, what do you want to do? I'll play. Hit, hit me with what? Record. Record, certainly. You have a right answer. Tony. I'll play. Tony, I'll say, play. Uh, well, go backwards. Rewind. Rewind. Right again. You have two up there. Oh, wait, we're missing. I'm going to play two, Bill, and I'm going to do opposite of Tony. I'm going to go fast forward. Fast forward. Right again. Uh-oh. Looks like they're on a run, gentlemen. Uh, let's see if they indeed are. Katie. I'm not very good with tape players. I think I'll pass that to Neil. Oh, that's a lucky pass, Neil. At least I think it is. I hope so. You have to name one to stay in the game. Uh, wow. Volume. Volume, sure. That's up there. And Katie's up. I think you men might have gotten your break there. We have four right answers. John 1 is up. How about the on-off? On, off, right again. We have five right answers. So far, here are the answers. Record, rewind, fast forward, volume, and on, off. John, too, looks confident. We only need two more, John, for the round in the game. Bill, I think I'm going to say play. Play is right. Yeah. 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 This could be, by the way, for on, off, we also, that has to do with power, so don't be thinking of that one. This could be for the round and the game. It is, as a matter of fact. Neil, you're up. We only need one more right answer. You may challenge if you can't think. Bill, I'm going to pass it to Tony. Obviously, Neil doesn't have one. Tony, is this a break for you? If you can come up with one that hasn't been mentioned, it's the round and the game. The only one I can think of, Bill, is pause. Pause is right. You won the game. Well done, Tony. That, it got a little difficult. Here are the other ones, the answers which we could have accepted. Dolby, that's that special sound uh, static suppressor. Eject, stop, tape capability, that's choosing metal or regular tape, and tape counter reset. Those are the ones we could have accepted. We thank our auctioneers very much for coming by. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks a lot. Stay right here. Congratulations to you. Got $7,000. When we get back here in just a moment, they're going to get a shot at an additional $5,000. do not go too far away. You can help your hamburger. You can make it a delight. Just smile and say cheeseburger macaroni tonight. Say cheese. Hamburger helper. Say cheese. Helped her hamburger. Hamburger helper helped her hamburger. Helper make a great meal. Hamburger helper cheeseburger macaroni turns your plain hamburger into a savory tangy cheddar cheese and macaroni supper your family will smile about. Hamburger helper helped her hamburger. Helper say cheese. Make a great meal. I did it. I did it. 
Moms love Cheerios, no low sugar, but kids made Cheerios number one. We loved it! Toasty oat goodness is what it's got. One gram of sugar, not a lot. I love the low sugar, but it's Cheerios toasted oat taste that made it number one with my family and part of our good nutritious breakfast. Moms love Cheerios, so no low sugar, but kids make Cheerios number one. We I'm Ed Hines from Curity, and we make cloth diapers. You probably use disposables, and that's okay, but if this little girl could talk, she'd tell you that Curity diapers can be very comfortable if she's got diaper rash. Pure cotton breathes, and it isn't likely to trap irritating moisture. Of course, it doesn't hurt that Curity diapers cost a lot less, so don't be without them. The best reasons for Curity are little ones. <laughs> Believe me, you'd rather hear about diaper rash from me than from them. Kraft brings you a dressing idea so delicious, it sizzles. A taste so fresh, it's juicy. Bacon and tomato dressing, it just had to be Kraft. With real bacon, crisp and lean, real tomato chopped in bits, and a touch of sour cream. If you think it sounds good, just wait till you taste it. Kraft bacon and tomato and now bacon and buttermilk dressing. Give your salad some sizzle with Kraft. Well, here you are again. Jim and Tony and Katie, you've won another game. You have $7,000 going for you. You picked up uh, $1,000 for winning the last game. Yeah. Now you're going to get a chance to add $5,000 to it. Congratulations and the best of luck. The subject of today's bonus is famous marriages. I'll name a famous woman, and then I'll show you two famous men. Each time you have to match the famous woman to her former famous husband, or her famous former husband. The jackpot is now at $5,000. We wish you luck. You have a pass, Jim. One per game. Confer and tell me whether you want to play or pass before each answer. Okay. Here's the first one. The famous woman, whom we want matched to her former husband, is Jane Wyman. Was her former husband Ronald Reagan or William F. Buckley. She's Maureen Reagan's mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to play this one, and we're going to say Ronald Reagan. Yes, <laughs> Maureen Reagan's mother was killing. Right. That was a question from another show. <laughs> Want to go on or take the five hundred? Right, right, right. All right, we're going to go on. Match the famous woman to her famous husband. The famous woman is Barbara Streisand, and the famous former husband is Chris Christopherson, or... Elliot Gould. Have a Gould. conference. Tell me whether you want to play or pass. We're going to play this one, and we're going to say Elliot Gould. You are right again. You have $1,000. Yeah. We're going to go. Okay, you're going. All yeah. right. The, the famous woman is Lauren Bacall. Lauren Bacall, the famous former husband, is Jason Robards or, or Gene Hackman. Robards or Hackman? Well, Tony's our expert on this one, so he says Jason Robards. And that's right. You now have fifteen hundred dollars. Two more. Okay. You're going on. We're yeah, we're gonna go. Okay, on. you're you're two you're two right answers away from the five thousand okay. dollars. Okay. now it's gonna go be for two thousand dollars or nothing. You have a pass though. Okay. The famous woman is Angie Dickinson. The former husband is Bert Backrack. Or Merv Griffin. Have a it's gotta be Bert. We're going to say Bert Bacharach. You got two thousand dollars. <laughs> well, you're in pretty good shape. Right, we're, gonna go. we're, gonna go. we're gonna go. We're gonna go for it this time. You're in good shape. You need one more right answer for the five thousand dollars. You have a pass in hand. Okay. Good luck. Okay. Famous woman, Ally McGraw. Her former husband is or was Clint Eastwood. Or Steve, Steve McQueen. McQueen. Steve McQueen. Now remember, before you tell me whether you're going to play or pass, this is for five thousand dollars or nothing. Well, we're going to play, and we're going to say Steve McQueen. You have five. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> Katie, Tony. Tony, you're the expert on this, you said? You did pretty well. Yeah, read a lot of man. movie star magazines. Uh -huh. Well, it's, it, it's paid off because right now, you three have to split amongst you $12,000 on your still play. Right yeah. now, right now, we're going to give you a chance to meet your opponent. Hi, I'm Pam Perdue. Hi, I'm Debbie Tilly. I'm Cindy Kinsman, and we're the artists. <laughs> 
my wife's from Ireland. Yeah. Welcome, ladies. Happy to have you with us. We'll, we'll be back and talk to you in just a moment. Right now, we're going to pause because at this point, we like to go out and earn some money. Share a while. It's 8 a.m. Susan Lloyd starts cooking sausage for breakfast. At the same time, Pam Walter starts her sausage. The brown and serves ready. But wait, be patient. The Walters are enjoying Swift Premium Brown and Serve sausage. Pre-cooked, just five minutes from sizzle to serve. Juicy and delicious, real meaty sausage. Ah. Mm. So, when you want great tasting sausage, why wait? Have Swift Premium Brown and Serve. Great taste without the wait. I was sitting in my boss's office when I got the worst itch. Ah, a vino. This weather makes my skin so dry. Ah, a vino. A vino, the oatmeal treatment for itchy sore skin. A vino bar cleans skin every day without soap. A vino bath gives fast relief with soothing natural oatmeal. I was the first kid in camp to get poison ivy. Ah, a vino. A vino bath, a vino bar. Uh. The great toilet bowl cleaner challenge game. How many compartments does your cleaner have? One! Oh, tank two has two! Does yours have bleach that cleans well for 30 days? Yes. Yes! Detergents? No. Tank two has four! Blue freshness? No! Blue freshness with every flush. So for 30 days without routine scrubbing, tank two gives you much more. This commercial is dedicated to Friskies everywhere. With the frisky taste that has cats dancing in the aisles and jumping for joy. Now Friskies have a friskier taste because it's baked right in. Give your cat Friskies and you'll have a very satisfied cat. Well, as you know, starting our very next show, next Monday, we are changing our format. Each team, beginning then, will consist of two celebrities and one contestant. So this game we're about to start will probably be have, uh, have to be interrupted. Uh, whichever team is ahead in number of rounds at that point will be declared the winner and receive an additional $1,000. Okay, so good luck to you, ladies. Last team under this format. Good luck to our reporters, reporters and artists. We'll begin with our champions. We always do each round. They have $12,000 going for them now. Here's the question for everybody. In one word, the color red makes you think of what? Now, that's the question we asked in a nationwide survey. The color red makes you think of what? We have the top 10 responses. We'd like you to name seven. We begin with you, Katie. Well, it's kind of gory, but blood? Blood is a right answer. That is one of the responses. Got the boy one out of the way in a hurry. That's one of the that's the number one response, by the way, Katie. How about you, Tony? I'll say uh, very romantic. Red roses. Red roses. A right answer. We have two right up there. Well, let's see. I'm going to pass this one to Cindy. Cindy, early pass. Maybe it's a break for the team. Get it, and you knock Jim out of the game. Okay, I'll take it. I'll say Valentine's. Valentine. Wrong answer, Cindy. I'm sorry. Oh. You will go back and sit down there. So it's two right answers and back to Katie. Good challenge, Jim. Katie, what do you want to do? I think I'll pass to Pam. Oh, another challenge. Pam, you're up. Give you a chance. I oh. guess fire. Fire. That's the right one, oh. Pam. And that knocks you out, Katie. Now you have control over here, so you're not in a bad spot. Debbie, what do you want to do? Okay, I'm going to try it, and I'll say anger. Anger is another right answer you're working on for. Oh, Anger's the number two answer. Anger's number two, and fire was number three. Pam, back to you. We have four right answers. You have two poems. Hmm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick. Lipstick. Wrong answer, Pam. Oh. Go sit with Cindy and look where we are. Tony, we need three more right answers. You have one lone opponent over there. Debbie's all alone. What do you want to do? I'm going to pass to Debbie. Well, oh, thanks. <laughs> up to you, Debbie, to stay alive and stay in the game. You have to come up with an answer. OK, Miss I'll try um, stop sign. Stop sign is a right answer. <laughs> That's not you, I think. <laughs> 
stop sign and stop light, both the same answer. Here's what's been given so far. You're in a good spot now, Debbie. We've had blood, roses, fire, anger, and stop sign or stop light. Debbie, we need two more right answers. You have one opponent. This is round one. Okay, I'm gonna pass to Jim. Jim, it's up to you. Okay. If you miss this, their side wins the round. You get it, your side wins the round. Okay, I'm going to say Red Cross. Red Cross is wrong, and the artists win the round. The answers we could have taken were apples, bullfights or bullfighters, cars, I don't know why, excitement and heat. They were the other answers. So look where we are now. We have uh, one round for our artists, and as I say, this round probably won't be completed, but we have time for another question, which we'll read just about now. We have a list from one of America's largest jam manufacturers of the seven berries they use to make jam. Can you name all seven? Berries used to make jam. We begin with our artist, and Pam, you're up. Uh, blueberries. Blueberry, right answer. One right, one on the board. <laughs> Debbie. Okay, I'll play strawberry. Strawberry, two on the board. Uh, I'll Cindy. play, and I'll say raspberries. Three on the board. Oh, golly. Pam. Um, grapes. Grapes. Wrong Is that answer. A berry? Back oh. Congratulations, gang. Control passed back to you. Katie, you're up. We need four more right answers. You have two opponents. Name a. Here's a question. The, the kinds of jams made from berries, or jams made from what kind of berries, if you want to put it that way? Blueberry. Blueberry? Is a repeat. Come up with another. Um, blackberry. Blackberry is right. You have another right one on the board. <laughs> Tony? <clears throat> I will. Uh, Pass this one to Cindy. Cindy, it's up to you to stay in the game. Okay. I'll say boysenberry. Right answer, Cindy. Well done. Tony out of the game. <coughs> Debbie, you're going to be next. Here's what, here are the answers we've had. Blueberry, strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, and boysenberry. Debbie, what do you want to do? Mm. We need two more right answers. Cal pass to Katie. Katie, it's up to you to stay in the game. You have to come up with an answer. Get it, and you eliminate Debbie. Olalaberry? A what? A lollaberry? A wrong answer, and go back and join Tony. Well, Cindy, you have one opponent left, and this is for the round and the game. I have an answer. I'm not sure, but I'll pass it. To you, Jim, to stay in the game. Okay, up to me again. I'll say Loganberry. Is a right answer. We have six on the board, Jim. You have a chance. What do you want to do? Okay, I'm going to pass to Debbie. Debbie, you have to come up okay. with one, otherwise you lose the round. Okay, I'll try Gooseberry. Gooseberry is wrong, and the reporters have won the round. Come on back. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Pretty darn good there. We'll be back here in just a moment, but right now we have a word for you. Uban is proud to announce Uban decaffeinated coffee. A new decaffeinated coffee made from the same 100% Colombian coffee beans as regular ground Uban. For the rich aroma you expect from Uban and a taste that's deep, dark, and Colombian. Uban richness, now in regular and new decaffeinated. See this ugly yellow stain? That's what comes from cigar or cigarette smoke. Just think what smoking a pack a day, every day, could do to your teeth. But look, here's Topol, the smoker's tooth polish that helps remove all kinds of superficial tobacco stains. Topol starts to work immediately to clean your teeth and to help remove these stains. Just use Topol week after week and watch your teeth get brighter and brighter. Topol, the smoker's tooth polish, regular or with fluoride. If we hurry, we have time to finish this game, not to play a bonus, so the winner of this game will receive $1,000. Here's the question. Who is your favorite female singer? We had Davis Research ask that question in a nationwide survey. We have America's top 10 responses. We need but seven of these famous female vocalists. We begin with the reporters. Katie, your choice. How about Diana Ross? Diana Ross is correct. One right answer on the board. Okay, Tony. I'll, I'll have to say a favorite of my mother's, Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand is right. We have two right answers on the board. Well, okay, Jim. 
I'm going to play, and I'll say uh, Linda Ronstadt. Linda Ronstadt is another right answer. We have three. Back to you. Back to you, Katie. Barbara Streisand was the number one answer, but Katie, up to you to answer one or challenge. How about Olivia Newton-John? Olivia Newton-John is another right answer, and there are four up there. One, huh? Okay, Tony. Well, now I'm uh, country western. Uh, Barbara Mandrell. Barbara Mandrell is another right answer. There are five up there. Olivia Newton-John was number two. What do you want to do, uh, Jim? So, Fall Street Jackpot, by the way, is worth an additional $1,500. I'm going to stay with it, and I'm going to stay with country music, and I'm going to say Dolly Parton. Is another right answer. We have six up there. Let me recap. Dolly's number three. Uh, Diana Ross, Barbara Streisand, Linda Ronstadt, Olivia Newton-John, and uh, Dolly Parton. Okay, now, we are back to you, Katie. Seven straight jackpot worth $1,500. There are six right answers up there. You can win the round, the game, $1,000, and 1500 for the seven straight. I'll try another country western singer. Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn is right. You're wow. right. <laughs> Very well done. Extremely well done. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. We obviously, we obviously got our newspaper reporters started off on a subject at which they were very good. May I ask something of, of the, the lady artists here? Had we begun with you, do you honestly think that your team would have been able to run seven straight, Pam? Of course. Sure. Sure. Didn't it? <laughs> right. No, no question about it, huh, Cindy? No question. Just the luck of the draw. Let me read the other ones that we could have accepted. These were the seven top female vocalists, or seven of the ten. The ones not mentioned that we could have accepted were Pat Benatar, Crystal Gale, and Annie Murray. Okay? Well, that's, it wasn't, wasn't, uh, wasn't bad. You came up with the numbers one, two, and three. I have a bit of an announcement for you. Remember, starting on our very next show, when we come back here Monday, we're going to have Celebrity Hot Potato with two celebrities on each team. Right now, I want to tell our reporters that they take with them $14,500. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you on Monday with a lot of celebrities. Goodbye. A member of our studio audience will receive Vitamix Stainless Steel 3 Minute Bread Maker and Home Yogurt Factory that juices without waste, cooks without burning, freezes instant ice cream, and offers 800 other recipes. Furnished by Vitamix. Some of our party contestants will receive West Bend's 12 inch automatic skillet. Dishwasher safe with durable non stick surface and thick aluminum construction for delicious roast ham and poultry, as well as smaller dishes. From St. Ives, you'll experience the luxurious sensation of St. Ives Skin Care Collection. Available at food and drug store St. Ives Swiss Formula. Only Q Tex Remover has moisture guard to protect nails against drying and breaking. No wonder it's America's number one remover. Post 40% brand flakes. If you want better tasting fiber, it's Post. The best tasting 40% brand flakes. Di Emilia pasta imported from Italy. Delicious pasta made the way it was meant to be. From 100% semolina and durum wheat. Be choosy with Van Melamento's, America's great chewy candy. In a variety of long-lasting flavors, Van Melamento's. <laughs> Now stay tuned for Search for Tomorrow. As Sonny's rapist set his sights on a new victim, then Liz and Neil say I do. It's the moment you've been waiting for on Days of Our Lives. Tonight it's an Easter surprise as those lovable Smurfs celebrate the holiday in a fun-filled Friday special, followed by the Berenstain Bears with a special holiday surprise of their own. Weeknights, watch NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. Be there. Potato is a barrier midnight production. This week on Days of Our Lives. I, Liz, take thee, Neil, to be my lawfully wedded husband. It's the moment you've been waiting for on Days of Our Lives. Then, dearly beloved, David and Sally pledge their lasting love. But will Catelyn try to stop?